Okay, there are five factors for controlling the speed of the ball. The distance that the ball rolls and your ability to stop it where you intend for it to stop. Four of those factors you're just used to, and one you have to do your neck turn. The five factors are the golf ball, the putter, the green speed, your tempo, and your neck turn for targeting. The first four of those you're just used to. The fifth one is the only one that you actually do when you get ready to putt instinctively for distance control. When you get used to the green speed with the core putt, one backstroke, one tempo, three, four, five balls all to the same distance, then you look at that distance and let your brain absorb that information on how your stroke works on that very green that day. That's making you used to the green speed, but it makes you used to the green speed only for a level part of the green. When you actually face an uphill putt or a downhill putt, your sense of the green speed is not right. So you have to consciously tell yourself, remember, uphill is slow, get it all the way to the hole and don't be short. And when you face a downhill putt, you have to consciously remind yourself, downhill is fast, don't go way past the hole, stop your ball at the hole. And if you will simply remind yourself consciously about uphill, downhill before you try to use your instincts, then your brain and your intuition will make the appropriate adjustment very accurately and you roll the ball to the hole, no farther, not short, not long, uphill or downhill, and your instincts will still work fine.